Hello Tomodachis, Angie's Inspirations here today. It's been a while since I posted on my Angie's Inspiration blog post and uh, the first uh, post in a while I'm going to be talking about is, uh, well, failure. <laughs> it's not a failure, it's a bump in the road. <laughs> Uh, and I'm here with my friend, my very, very Hi. good friend, Kelly. Uh, yeah, she's my good friend. Uh, and we're going to be talking about um, how I failed my thesis. Yes. Uh, and that was the last chance I could have uh, done it. So I have no other chances. And, well, for other people, it might be very disappointing that, oh, uh, is the end of the world, or oh my gosh, but well, for me it, it feels like I, I just, you know, got rid of it, I, <laughs> that's pretty much what I wanted to do, um, I just wanted to finish it, you know, I got to the point where I was just so tired of uh, doing it, of like, you know, when you get that, to that point where you just don't want, you just get tired of doing something, you just want to get rid of it. I mean, I did try my best. I did do what was required of me. But well, what can you do? You still fail, you still fail, right? Mm, and, but still, failure doesn't, shouldn't really define the person because at the end of the day, uh, a diploma does not determine a person if they're gonna succeed in life or if they're gonna be a failure in life. So there's many, um, People around the world that have become millionaires, have started up businesses, who do not have a college degree or even a high school diploma sometimes, and they end up being way better than those who, and with more experience than those who do have a diploma. So, I mean... Uh, and it's all about what you want to do with it, right? Mm -hmm. It's all about what you want to do with it, right? Exactly, and if you have the motivation and the drive to do whatever it takes to make yourself succeed, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, although it's a bit disappointing that uh, I failed, uh, because, well, that was the whole point of me coming to the Netherlands, was to get my diploma in... Uh, well, you still had your education on yeah. your grade list. Yeah, I mean, I have... The, the only thing I'm missing is the, the, the graduation thesis. I have everything else for all the four years that I did. I have done everything. I passed everything. The only thing that I'm failing is the thesis part. And though uh, I won't be getting the diploma, I'm told that I can get the grade list. Uh, so I can use it similar to how I would use a diploma, only without the diploma. I would have the grade list with uh, the employer that... Uh, the job that I apply to, the employer will see like what I've done and see my grade list, but it just won't be a diploma. Mm -hmm. So, in a sense, yeah, I'm happy that I'll be getting something. Well, I'm satisfied I'm getting something. I mean, but I'm not gonna try to let it define me because in the end, I'm the one that defines myself, you know? A diploma does not really determine success for a person. And the person I was talking to, I think he may have been the CEO or whatever of uh, the school I was going to in Adenhala. Well, in Diemen, because there's different branches in uh, different uh, cities in the Netherlands. There's one in Diemen, uh, Diemen, Rotterdam, Den Haag. I went to the one in Den Haag. And I met with, I think he was the CEO, I'm not really sure, but um, he was, we were talking about what happened. And also, at that time, I was very depressed. Uh, there was, this was probably one of the few times that I've been so depressed right uh, during that time. I mean, yeah, writing my thesis that those couple of months was very... Um, taxing. Yeah, taxing in a low period emotionally for me. So that also had to play a, a bit of a role in it as well because I got to the point also where I didn't care, I didn't want to do it, I like I went through so many emotions during that uh, uh, short amount of time, but in the end, I still went all the way to the end. I didn't... Uh, give up. Yeah, I didn't give up, which is what the CEO mentioned. 
because I told him what I did, what the previous studies I've done, and and he said that from what he heard, he heard me saying that I am a person that doesn't give up, which it is true because I don't give up just because, like how you as you say, there's a bump in the road or I fail or something. They say failure is supposed to, you know, help you build you into the person that you are gonna become, you know. So, well, it doesn't kill you, make you stronger. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, that is all I wanted to say for today. Since I'm low on time, <laughs> I have to be somewhere. <laughs> so, uh, 